Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph, and you guys, leave a like on this video in the next five seconds or else you'll be infected with the coronavirus. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's just a prank. Or is it? And that brings me to the title of this video, Coronavirus Pranks Need to Stop. So I'm sure by now, unless you're literally Patrick Starna living under a rock, that you've heard about the coronavirus. <laughs> You know, by now I'm surprised that Donald Trump hasn't suggested that we nuke the fucking disease. So it is your reporting that the president suggested nuking them, dropping a nuclear bomb inside a hurricane. <laughs> yes, a nuke. Hey, you know what? I gotta be nice. For a 73 year old man, Donald Trump is a sweeter man. Just look at that hair. I mean, looking like a dog during shedding season. So the coronavirus has been around for a few months and as of now, there's been a total of over 73,000 cases and the death total from this virus is over 1,800. So yeah, that's a lot of people. Anyway, so this shit has been spreading viral. Like literally, it's all over the world right now. The streets in Wuhan right now are literally a ghost town because ain't nobody trying to catch this virus. Everyone be wearing hospital masks right now that are literally be looking like V for Ben data meets Grey's Anatomy. And don't get me wrong, I ain't bashing those for wearing masks. Like, I personally haven't, but I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry. But some people literally have no brain cells. Like, I've seen some idiots in my university who are literally wearing the mask on their face. You know, that's fine. Meanwhile, they're literally resting their hand on their face. It just completely destroys the purpose. Anyway, so people have thought that with this virus been shredding, that it would be an amazing idea to do a coronavirus prank. Yeah, you heard me right, a coronavirus prank. Oh, what are we doing? What are you guys doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. So for today's video, I got two of these pranks lined up and what we're gonna be doing is just taking a look at them, reacting to them and just honestly roasting them because they are literally really stupid. Like. They're, they're just bad. But just before we get into this, if y'all can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, it really would mean a lot. So anyway guys, as always, let's roll the clip. Bruh, what is that? This video was made for comedy purpose. I don't know what's comedic about this. The fact that this guy's using his hoodie as a face mask, looking like somebody took a nasty fart, or the fact that this guy's name is literally Cable. Yo, what's up? This is boy Cable, 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 back with another video. <laughs> so today we are doing a funny, hilarious prank. We're doing a prank, and what's been going around LA is that a- Jeez, what is going on with this guy? Are his hands frozen? Like. Is he good? We're doing a prank, and what's been going around LA is that a virus has been spreaded. I guess it came from China, and a couple of people have gotten it here, but it's been going viral everywhere. So, my friend Ricky, right here, my friend Ricky is gonna be playing the pedestrian that's gonna be randomly coughing, and we're gonna be the guys that are gonna be coming in the suit and trying to make sure that we contain him. Okay, all right. Yeah, talk about how the virus came from China and then exploit an Asian kid by making him the one infected with the virus. There's already so much racism and stigma associated with this virus, yet this guy thinks that it would be a great idea to make an Asian guy play the character of someone who has the coronavirus. Are you dumb? Are you actually dumb? This guy thinks it's an amazing idea to enhance the issue. <laughs> Oh, um, all right. Can someone tell me why they're walking like that? Like, they literally look like skeletons from Minecraft. And again, man, covering your face with your hoodie? Like, why? Who farted? I wanna know. Either fat bastard took a giant shit on your clothes or your girlfriend really stinks. Because trust me, covering your face with your sweatshirt like that, it, it's not gonna prevent the virus from spreading. Now, if you think that this video couldn't get any more cringe, well then, you're wrong because let me show you guys what happens next. God damn, we literally just witnessed a human abduction. Again, 
I don't understand what's so funny about this. Like, where is the prank? Trust me, I get how some people are making harmless memes about this. Like, for example, what goes great with coronavirus? Lyme disease. <laughs> Saying that is stupid, but it's harmless, you know, there's no harm done. It is kind of funny. It's a good joke, it, it's good. But this video, this prank, like, I don't get it. Like, it literally looks like a scene out of a low budget, crappy, wannabe horror movie. And what is this girl saying? Shut up. The acting in this is just appalling. Like, I'm pretty sure that if your boyfriend actually had the coronavirus, you wouldn't be yelling, please, please, and begging the people in the hazmat suits not to take your boyfriend. Like, trust me, if I had a girlfriend and she had coronavirus, yo, I am out. And if you thought that this scene was bad, let me show you guys one that happens a little later. <laughs> and what's even better is that at the end of this video, the guy tries to justify why he made this prank. So as you can see, I made this video to show the lack of information that Americans know about the coronavirus. No, no, no. People didn't do anything not because they aren't informed with what's going on, but because it literally looks like a human abduction. Like no one's trying to step into that. Imagine if there was kids on the street who witnessed this happen. Like this shit is honestly horrifying. This shit literally, like if I witnessed this in public, like, you know, at the train station, I would be terrified too. This was no prank. It was just a shitty attempt at gaining clout. All right, so now we're gonna be taking a look at another coronavirus prank. And this one comes from a YouTuber named Rice Man. Yup. That's a fitting name. And the acting in this one is just even more terrible. Like, just take a look at this. Anyone has a gas mask? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you guys doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're being quarantined. Let's get what? You're being quarantined. What? What did I do? I mean, come on. The guys wearing the hazmat suits have their entire body covered head to toe. Meanwhile, they aren't even wearing gloves. Like, where's the logic in that one? Nice one, buddy. Nice. Hey, man, you got a lighter? Can I borrow real quick? Yeah, man. Hi, man. What? 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 Did he say coronavirus? <laughs> what? This acting is just horrible. Did he say coronavirus? Looking ass. And is it just me or why does this guy sound like a wannabe Toby Maguire? Like no hate, Toby is my guy, but doesn't he sound exactly like him? Yes. Yes. <laughs> And what's up with these guys' hair? Buddy on the left, he looking like the emo version of Link from Super Smash Brothers. And Buddy on the right, why is he pacing like that? The guy looking like he about to go Super Saiyan in the f***ing coronavirus itself. <laughs> this shit just looks so fake. Like... What is Buddy doing with his hand? Ha, yo, dude, this shit's gnarly. Looking ass. This is Dr. Wassner from the UAB Department of Medicine. Unfortunately, your PCR test came back positive for the Wuhan coronavirus. Positive? Bro, like what? Positive for what? The one that's like happening right now, the coronavirus? Zaggy is just so dumb. But on a real note, what is going on with Buddy's face? Like, what is that? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like jeez man looking like a goddamn jack-o-lantern out here and i didn't play this out earlier but the shirt seriously like i said earlier there's already so much racism associated with this virus and for an actual chinese guy to be doing a coronavirus prank while wearing a shirt that says eat some rice like seriously you don't think that's gonna contribute even more to the racism that's going on? Anyway guys, so I've had enough reacting to these god awful pranks, so that's gonna do it for this video. But if you did enjoy me reacting and roasting them, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So originally I wasn't gonna make a video on this topic, but I thought that I could probably come up with some pretty good roasts and while doing that actually address a real issue that's been going on. A lot of racism and just misunderstanding and stigma having going on with this coronavirus it's just so it's it's really disrespectful and that's why i made this video yeah but yeah i don't want to make this you know all sad and everything but i it's just something that i really needed to address 
while also making you guys laugh and entertaining you guys because that's what i do on this channel i'm an entertainer but yeah guys make sure to follow me on my social media my instagram is ivan step official my twitter is ivan step and my snapchat is shots underscore u zero nine make sure to follow me on there I post a lot of funny and, you know, entertaining things going on in my life, my personal life, all that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, it's been Ivan Scott. Peace.